guys, welcome back to your brand new video. If you're new here, my name is Brianna. Before you leave, make sure to like this video and don't forget to click the subscribe button to keep up with all of the videos that I post. Today's background is very different. This is actually my new setup for my room. I'm an avid believer that we should kind of change up our space to kind of encourage inspiration and continue to have a space that inspires at least me um i spend a lot of my time in my room so i get most of my inspiration here so it needs to be very like zen a creative space and that is what we did i kind of think i like this setup a little bit more you guys will see the setup as we go on in today's video let me know down below what you think of the setup also, we are going to be doing a Shein order. So I'm actually going to be taking you guys along with me and ordering jeans from Shein's website. Um, before we start today's video, I do want to say that size is nothing but just a number. So if throughout today's video you see that I'm sizing up like sizes that I'm like not, that is because I want to make sure that they fit. But the size of the jeans that I'm ordering does not define who I am. Don't get scared about sizing up on these products. I've opened the Shein website and because I already know that I wear a size 12, 14 that falls under the curve plus. We are going to go into bottoms and go under the jeans. I think I am going to do the wide and flare jeans only because that's really popular right now. So as you can see, there are tons and tons of options. I think that I am looking for something that has slits at the knees, so these are perfect. So they're $26, and one thing I am going to say when looking for jeans, and this is like a quick tip and hack when ordering stuff on Shein, is you need to go to the description. So under the item, you'll see that it says description, size, and fit. You're going to want to look for the composition of the jeans. So this one says 78.6 cotton, 13.5 viscose, and 7.9 polyester. Because it has so many different materials in it, um, I am going to actually order my true size. Another tip that I do want to say is make sure to look at the reviews. Um, one of the reviews says that they usually wear a size 12, 14, but based on the reviews, I want on my smaller size. So I think I'm going to order a size 0XL in these. I personally have like this really big like talent. I want to say talent because I can see the kind of material through the image. Like I see right through just the product. I can see the material it's going to be. Um, if ever you need someone to look over your Shein cart, I'm your girl. I know what's going to stretch and what's not going to stretch. The next one I'm looking for, I am looking for a wide leg black jeans. So I'm going to filter out the jean category in black. These are kind of cute. They're very retro and in right now. They have that cargo style, but I'm not really feeling that look like I feel like I can't pull it off like I know that I can put something together but I just feel like I don't want to really try that much I think I'm gonna go with these the plus high waist rib wide leg jeans and they also come in this white I don't know how I feel about white yellow whoa and this lime green that's pretty cute I am digging her shoes I cannot pull those off but she can um, I am going to go with the black only because I like the way that the rips are on the jeans. I'm nervous because if her butt looks like that in those jeans, I can only imagine what my butt's going to look like because I have a non-existent butt. But she looks like pretty flat in these jeans. Like they look like they go out on the wrong part of her body. Um, so let's look at the description. So I'm going to go all the way down to composition. So it says it's 100% cotton. 
and it also tells you that it's a non-stretch. So that tells you right there that you need to size up. Usually, I'm a 1XL. Mm. But I think I'm gonna do the 2XL just because I really, really want them to fit. Uh, based on the reviews, it does say it's when to size up on these because of the review sizing info, but please know these are true to size. Get your regular sizing for sure. It says, y'all, I thought I could get away with a 1X and I'm a 2X, bad mistake. So cute, love. Please like, sisters. I'm very broke. Um, there are images. I, like I said, I'm going to go with the 2XL. Um, so the 2XL would convert into like a 14, like a 16. Oh my gosh. I, my size does not define who I am while I'm online shopping. My size does not define who I am when I'm online shopping. All right, guys. So my order from Shein came in and it took about a week to come in. I'm literally living in the outfit that I was recording when I first um, ordered the stuff. But that's because I literally live in sweatpants and a crop top. Sorry, I know, but just be still in the shower. Okay, okay it's fine. Yeah. Okay, guys. <laughs> so... I am going to do a quick try on haul today and show you everything that I got. We got, originally we only had gotten two pairs of jeans, but at checkout I saw another pair of jeans that I added that I was like, I have to have this pair of jeans. So I went ahead and ordered them. So now I'm gonna go ahead and try them on. Like I said, for reference, I'm usually a size 12, 14. And in some of these I ordered a 12 and in some of these I ordered a 16 so bear with me remember size is just a number don't let this number make you feel bad about yourself the first pair of jeans that I am going to try on for you guys are the ones that we talked about how they looked um, very stretchy and I was able to get my true size so I got these in a actually I I got these in a 1XL, so I didn't actually get them in a true size. I got them last minute, I guess I was just very self-conscious and I just sized up. So I did get a 1XL. This would be considered a 14. I still fit into 14. So I'm gonna go ahead and try them on and then show you what they look like on. I'm really going to be wearing um, biker shorts under these because I am, it's currently the time of the month and I want everything to feel a little sucked in everywhere. So I'm going to try them on with um, my biker shorts to see how they fit. Hopefully they fit with the biker shorts on because if not, I'm gonna have to take them off. So right off the bat, I'm trying them on and they are super long as I expected. I didn't think that these were gonna fit right to length, but they close. They're super cute, super stretchy. Um, they're stretchy right around this like thigh area. I just threw on a quick um, cover button up from Zara that I got at their sale. Um, just with the crop top I was wearing. I am going to show you what it looks like. Surprisingly, the slits are literally right by my knee, but I feel like all the excess fabric that would not allow this to be on my knee is on my belly area, which is a good thing. I'm wearing my highest of highest of heels, which are these green, obviously don't match, but I needed the height and they're still pretty um, long on me. I think this is a super cute outfit and these are definitely a must have. Look how cute these are. I love that the fact that they're like stretchy right here. Um, if I did have gone a size up, they definitely would have fit me a lot looser. So I'm grateful I didn't um, size up. But look, oh, these are so cute. Also, look at my setup. This is perfect for videos like this. I love it. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think? So these, I don't know how I feel about the blue. This is might be too light for these jeans. I actually don't own a pair like this. Um, they're super light. There is this like ripped right here that's like literally by my vagine. So if I bend down, you might see my vagine or let this open. Um, but anyways, I am going to have to get them hemmed by a seamstress. I might 
take a scissor. I don't know. I don't know if I want to ruin them like that. <laughs> but yeah, these are super cute. This is the first look. I am going to be trying on these black pairs that I got. A 2XL. So these are the ones that I sized up on. And I'm kind of nervous about this because I probably shouldn't have sized up. No, I should have. Yeah, they're fine. They're totally great. So, or I don't know. So the waist definitely fits me, which is a good thing. You can't see because they're black. But then I have like all this excess like fabric right here that makes me feel like I'm like this like, super wrestler. But I think that's the look. So these shoes, right? I'm going to be talking them in the next couple videos. But these are my highest shoes that I could wear with these pants. And he says that they remind him of the mask. I watched it for the first time the other day and I was kind of like, you called my shoes that? All right. <laughs> So my shoes are on. Now I just need a top to go with it. Come on, Millie. Millie, look. Say hi, Millie. This is Millie, guys. <laughs> All right. So this is my outfit. I could totally like. No, I can't. Um, that's like for a different kind of slimmer leg. But so I got my Zara button down shirt that looks like a little nighty sleeper top. With my crop top, I haven't changed it out. That means you can wear a bunch with this little crop top too. Um, and then I'm wearing the jeans. So I feel like all that rouging and like that bunching at the bottom should not look like that. And I might just go ahead and cut them um, because I actually do not like that look. I want it to be a little more relaxed and flared out. I just showed you guys all my mess. Um, but this is what this outfit looks like. And I really like it. I like the fact that I'm like throwing in some color and green. It kind of gives me like a streetwear relaxed vibe, but still kind of chic. I don't know. What do you think? This is super cute. And I feel like with my makeup done, like a little bit better than what it looks right now, it would exceed my expectations. But these pants definitely are very roomy. They're not stretchy at the waist. And I know why people are saying to size up because of this waist, but goodness, does it give you like so much um, fabric here where it's like, oh, I've got like tons. Like maybe if it was like that, or maybe I should have like sized up. I don't know. What do you think? I might actually take them in to go get fixed, but nonetheless, they are so cute. Look, and I feel like it makes me look or appear a lot slimmer if I would have just got maybe a straight leg instead of like a full-on boyfriend what do you think look see how like this one's regular and like this one's a little tighter okay well anyways this is our second option that we picked out together so i took off the black pair of jeans um i am now going to put on the last pair of jeans that i ordered i actually stumbled across these on checkout um so we didn't get to, you know, buy them together, but they're okay. So I'm going to show you what they look like. They are super popular. And when I saw them, I was like, I have to have these. I have to. I just have to. Look at the cross. Look at the cross. So cute. Okay, so let me tell you what size I ordered these in. Keep in mind, all of these jeans are going to be linked down below. I got them in a 2XL. I'm not worried. I'm not a size 16 usually, but in this material, I am a size 16 today. Um... I'm not worried about like size. I kind of got over that like, oh, I feel so bad for myself about the size I ordered. Um, that used to really haunt me a lot, especially while shopping on Shein because I'm used to getting like larges, extra larges. And then when I shop on Shein, I'm like 2XL, 1XL, 0XL. But I've grown a lot mentally. So I encourage you to kind of keep that in your mind because it could eat you alive. Okay, so... They close even with the shorts under which is a plus because sometimes when I'm on my period I want to make sure that everything feels secure this button though all right did we get it in yeah the button's in um, this is what they look like how stinking cute I've seen these on revolve for about like 120 bucks I'm not paying that look how cute these are look you need these these are the ones you need out of all three they like 
cinch you in at the waist. They hide your little mom pooch. You can pair them with a cute sandal or heel. That is it. This is the look. Would I walk out like this? Probably not because my under boob is showing. But I would throw like a little like, you know, shawl over top. I'm obsessed with these shoes. I don't care what color they are. They are so cute. Okay, what do we think? Like I said, these are the ones you need. They are not stretchy. They are not stretchy. They're like a true cotton, 100% cotton material. Um, so size up, one whole size up. Like I said, I'm usually a 12, 14. I go for 2XL, which is like a size 16. Um, but I'm not mad about it. Look how good they look. <laughs> they do make me look like I have a butt which we love we love that especially when you don't have a butt <laughs> so these are super cute 10 out of 10 is that was it for today's video i really hope you enjoyed all of my picks today i definitely recommend the last pair those need to be in your car right now the link is in the description and also use my code brieXO at checkout to save 15 percent off your entire purchase um, so you get to save even more money. Like I said in the beginning and throughout this video, don't let the size define who you are. Just have fun with it. Just know that every company size is totally, completely different. So if you like something and if you have to size up, okay, you have to size up. I think that's what mentally I've had to learn myself. So I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. I will see you next time, guys. Bye.